Two Northwest Guilford High School students posted a video online that's spreading across social media and it's not good. Yeah, it's a racist rant that was so bad we can't even play a portion of it for you. WFMY News 2's Jessica Winters went directly to Guilford County Schools to see what's being done about it. It turns out the district had an anti-discrimination training today because of this video. We can't play it for you, but what I can tell you is within 45 seconds, the N-word was used five times. And the two high school students said things like lynch them all and put them back in the fields and teach them a lesson. Yes. Guilford County Schools told me it learned of the video over the weekend. Some parents and students commented on the video saying this is nothing new at Northwest Guilford, so I asked the Chief of Schools, Tony Watlington, if he thinks Northwest Guilford has a discrimination problem. I think there are some legitimate issues and problems at Northwest Guilford High School. I think there are some problems at other high schools. Uh, we're not trying to hide that. We're trying to be very transparent and work to make all of our schools uh, free of discrimination and bias. In response to the video today, the school system brought in the National Conference for Community and Justice of the Piedmont Triad, also known as the NCCJ. The nonprofit trains both students and staff members on mutual respect and understanding by way of open discussion. A space and a process for kids and for adults to be, talk, to be able to talk about issues of race, something that many people in our country and in our county are very uncomfortable doing. So this training was only done at Northwest Guilford High, but the diversity office is working on a plan to expand the training district wide. Events like this tell us that we need to redouble our efforts and to do even more. Wellington says the two students in the video were punished appropriately for their racist tirade, though he couldn't get into specifics. Thanks, Jessica. The chief of school says kids like these two students who make very bad choices can change, and he's hoping the trainings help with that.